Well, I sincerely believe that sustainability is not only a vitally important topic for our industry, it has become a vitally important topic in any industry. In these days, it's about decarbonization, it's about climate change, it's about the Paris Agreement, it's about sustainable development goals. Why do I believe it's particularly crucial and important for our lubricants industry? It is for our own interest, the lubricants industry per se is a decarbonization program. We reduce more CO2 with our products at our customers in the use phase and application phase by reducing friction, wear and corrosion than we actually create because we exist. And so we must use this as a business case. Well, I think one of the key issues is that sustainability, everyone understands sustainability, but the problem is everyone understands something else under sustainability. It's an inflationary used word still in these days, and we need to put some meaning behind, especially for our own lubricants industry. We need to define the term sustainability for lubricants. We need to create benchmarks, KPIs, and a standard for our own lubricants industry. For me, this is the name of the game and the key issue. The UEIL initiative or the task force we are creating is something completely new for the European Lubricants Industry Federation. Why is it new? Because for the first time we do not only have independent or major loop manufacturers in the room, but we have the entire process and value chain. We have got base oil manufacturers, additive manufacturers, we also got the customer side in, because the important thing is that we need to define sustainability along the entire process and value chain to give some meaning behind it. And the second point is, everything in these days is EU-based. There is an EU directive for reporting non-financial figures, there is an EU eco-label standard, and there is an EU decarbonization strategy, and we need to address all of these issues from the European lubricants industry under the umbrella of the UEIL. It's always, it's always very difficult, especially with this topic, sustainability, to look five years in the crystal ball in the future, but I sincerely believe, or I see, that in five years from now, the carbon will have a price. There will be a carbon pricing and a carbon taxation in any case, and this will also affect, of course, the price of carbon of a base oil or a lubricant. That's number one. And the second thing that I envision is actually that the non-financial part of our business, the, the so-called non-financial part, will have a material value to the financial part. What do I mean by this? If the non-financial part is not correct, we will lose reputation. Young talents will leave us, and it cuts into the future of our business. But on the contrary, if we play it right, then the non-financial sustainability part will create and generate new business. So there is a connection between the non-financial part and the financial part. And now, another vision is for me. Those companies who want to be front runners and are going to be front runners, and first movers, will have the non-financial part represented, the sustainability part represented ex at the executive level. And it's not going to be just an add-on, and this is a clear signal to the inside and the outside of any company. It's not just a nice-to-have. Sustainability has become important also on the executive level.